Hey guys, today I have a beat up Ford F-150 in for a full detail. This detail is going to be a two-parter as I'll be focusing on the exterior in this one and on the interior in the next one. It also might be a little controversial later on as I do some surprising things to a truck that is this old. Stick around to see what those things are by the end of the video. I'm starting out by putting these hose guards under the tires to keep the pressure washer hose from getting stuck. Stuck hoses drive me crazy. I've got these guards along with all the other items I'm using today linked in the description below. I'm starting out on the vehicle with a first rinse. Now a rinse like this on a vehicle this dirty is essential. I've got to get as much of this dust removed as I can before the hand wash or I'm just going to be spreading it around the vehicle and it's not going to get clean. One problem area that I will address later in the video is this rear bumper. This dust combined with something that was spilled on it and it basically glued itself to the trim. But as Arnold said, I'll be back. With the paint completely rinsed, I'll get after these filthy tires. Now, tires that spent this much time on gravel roads take a ton of rinsing to get the dust out of all the tight areas. And as you look closely, these tires are really beat up. They've seen better days, but I'm gonna do my best to get them looking as good as possible. Now it's time for everyone's favorite, the foaming of the vehicle. So satisfying. With the vehicle covered in foam, I make my way around with my detail brush to get all the lines and trim cleaned out. I'll also make sure I hit the door shuts, get all the dust completely removed from those as well, and then I'll pull out my wash mitt and get the panels completely clean. This is my favorite shot of the entire night. I didn't mention that this video was shot in February in Minnesota, outside. For those of you not aware, it's supposed to be like 24 degrees right now. I'm back attacking that rear bumper to remove as much of that dust as I can. I use my tire brush to actually get as much of it loose as possible. It's an extremely stubborn stain and I'm gonna have to get after it a third time later on in the video. With the paint cleaned and rinsed, I used some iron remover all over the vehicle, which helped loosen the iron deposits and was also a good lubricant for my clay mitt. I guarantee this is the first time this truck has ever been decontaminated. 
And now my second favorite shot of the night, drying this thing off as the sun is just going down. Now this is where the video might get a little controversial. This vehicle belongs to a buddy of mine and his wife asked me to get it cleaned up for him before they take it pig shopping. Most of you probably think it's crazy, but I'm doing a two-step paint correction using Jeskar correcting cream and a microfiber cutting pad. Once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna use some Sonax Perfect Finish with a black finishing pad to make this paint really pop. <laughs> Now that the polishing stage is complete, I'm using some Gion Prep to remove the oils, and then I'll top the paint with some Griot Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax. The slickness and gloss of the paint after this was insane from when it first pulled into the shop. Took it a step further and used some metal polish and a microfiber towel to get the chrome looking much better. I've also heard that you could use some 4 aught steel wool with this polish. Is that something that any of you would recommend to make this metal shine even more? I was a little bit hesitant to try it. And I'm not stopping there. I might be jumping the shark, but I'm also going to use some solution finish for the first time. For extra credit, can anyone name the TV show that coined that phrase, jumping the shark? And can you tell me which character from the show was claimed to have actually done it? Here you can see me going after that back bumper for a third time to remove the rest of that stuck on gravel dust. I'm using some undiluted super clean, which is pretty strong stuff, but nothing else I tried worked. Fortunately, this worked out great. Now I shook the can vigorously and used an applicator to apply a layer of this thick, black, almost paint-like finish. Gloves are a must with this product as it claims it will stain almost anything. I was a little skeptical of this stuff at first, but that trim looked amazing once I had finished. As impressive as the rear trim was, the before and after of this wiper cowl is absolutely amazing. Although it was a little tedious to apply with all of the vent holes, I had to use a detail brush to get everything completely covered.
Like I said, I went all out. I even applied the solution finish to the front grill using an oversized Q-tip. The exterior of this F-150 turned out fabulous. If you enjoyed the exterior, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next video where I tackle the interior. If you thought the outside was dirty, wait until you see the inside. Go on down, hit that like button, and share the video to your friends. I got a couple more great details linked on the screen. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.